being goal oriented is incredibly important. Having goals and then having a plan to get there. The ones who have been successful are goal obsessed. So tell me how TransPerfect works as a company. We work with the largest companies in the world, virtually all of the Fortune 1000 companies, and we are in over 90 cities around the world. And that means translating anything a client needs in another language. So that's anything from document translation to oral interpreting, to website localization, to software localization, to cultural consulting, et cetera. Well, you're now number 39 on Forbes' list of the richest self-made women, right? You're actually ahead of Beyonce and Taylor Swift. So what are the top must-have skills of a self-made woman? Simply hard work. And it's not very glamorous, it's not very exciting, it's not very original, but hard work is what has gotten every woman I know who has accomplished a great deal in life. Secondly, being innovative. Uh, being entrepreneurial if you're in a company. The people in our company who have risen to the top, they are people who have created departments, products, services for our clients, and certainly self-made women are innovative. So there's been an acceleration lately of women-run businesses. Do you think it's easier for a woman to start a business now than it was 25 years ago when you began in the 90s? Yes, I do, and um, I think it's, a great time for a woman to start a business. I think we're going through a time where women are really making a concerted effort to support one another, and I think that's fabulous, and maybe it's a result of where we are with the election last year for, for obvious reasons, but I see it, I think we saw it with the Women's March, and now it's a trend, and, and I see it happening in my company. As a leader, I need to make sure I hire women, I promote women, I support women, and I make sure we have at least as many C-level opportunities for women as for men. So what was your early life like and how did that influence you as an entrepreneur? I have amazing parents and my parents are my two biggest mentors, role models. They encouraged me to work from a very young age. From, from the time I was 10, I was working, whether it was babysitting, delivering newspapers, um, telemarketing. Actually, I remember my dad distinctly said, you should never be dependent on a man financially. Never, you know, you can do it. Why would you be dependent on a man financially? You can't do that. And your father was in the marketing world, so he traveled all over the world, and that's how you got your first taste of, of uh, becoming in love with languages, correct? Absolutely. When I was eight and nine, we lived in Portugal. We moved to Portugal because he got the right to um, open Kentucky Fried Chicken there, but that was the beginning of my exposure to all that's international, and that's where I started learning languages. I studied Portuguese and French there, and it was a fabulous experience. What are your words of wisdom out there for a woman who wants to one day be where you are? Well, I think it's really important not to just follow and comply. I think it's important to act like a leader, to rise in business, they need to take charge and have ideas and be bossy, if that's what it's called. And that's okay, because that's how you get to be the boss. You know, they always say, act like you have the job you have before you have it. Well, a leader needs to take charge and be the boss. And so I think women who want to rise to that level should do just that.